In this video, we're going to consider why Buckminster fullerene is a poor conductor of electricity. And hopefully uh, at this stage, you already know a bit about Buckminster fullerene. Uh, it contains lots of bucky balls, which are 60 carbon uh, molecules, macromolecules, meaning large molecules. And of note on that structure, we have delocalized electrons that can move freely uh, across it. So technically speaking, if I was to take one bucky ball, I would find that it would be a good conductor of electricity. And why is that? Well, if I try and pass electrons through my structure, uh, in this case from left to right, uh, that electron can jump onto my delocalized network of electrons and push another delocalized electron off the other side. So by passing electricity through it, because of those delocalized electrons, I can see a continual flow of electrons across the structure, meaning it's a good electrical conductor. However, in reality, if I take Buckminster fullerene, which contains lots and lots of buckyballs, I find that it is a poor conductor of electricity. So why, why the change? Well, if I draw a very small part of the structure of solid Buckminster fullerene, uh, here's three buckyballs in a row. Uh, again, I would find the individual molecules have lots of delocalized electrons that can move freely, something like that. But of course, in the solid structure, what we can see also in the diagram is there are some gaps between my individual buckyballs. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means if I start pushing electrons onto my left-hand buckyball, for an electron to jump onto the next molecule, there is actually a bit of a gap that it needs to get across. So for that reason, it becomes more difficult for electrons to pass through my solid substance and therefore Buckminster fullerene is considered a poor conductor of electricity. Now as a little bonus note, if I want to turn that poor conductor into an excellent conductor, a superconductor, what I can do is I can add atoms of group one metals which jump into my gaps and they then allow that substance to conduct electricity very, very well. So because of the gaps between individual bucky balls, uh, the substance Buckminster fullerene is considered a poor conductor of electricity. Uh, I think that's probably about it for bucky balls. Uh, hopefully this video was of some help.